listens to his sheep. The sheep listen to him. He cares for his sheep and he is ready to lay down his life so that they may have life and have it to the full. Warm greetings to my beloved people of the Diocese of Tandang. Allow me to extend my heartfelt gratitude for all your support, known or hidden, for a very peaceful, inspiring, and meaningful celebration of Earth Day 2021 few days ago. This pastoral letter is addressed to you to remind each one of us of our great responsibility to care and protect our environment from irreversible destruction. For the information of everyone, this coming first week of October the general reshuffling of priests will take effect. In our diocese, every five years, priests who are still active in ministry will undergo a general reshuffling. So I would like to thank you in advance for all the general support and active participation in the projects, programs, and activities that made your parish vibrant and united as you share generously the different charisms and gifts for the building up of your basic ecclesial communities for a smooth transfer and proper turnover. I ask all parish priests and administrators to submit a five-year audited financial report, an inventory of all things and properties that belong to the parish. What belongs to the parish stays in the parish. This practice just shows that the task of a parish priest or any priest is not just for the spiritual growth of the people but also in managing well all the temporal goods of the church. The Good Shepherd cares for the flock and the members of this flock are not just the people, but this also includes a balanced and healthy ecology. His task, therefore, as a good shepherd is to secure the protection and growth of the social and natural environment. On June 14, 2018, I was installed as the third bishop of the Diocese of Tandang after Pope Francis accepted the retirement of Bishop Nerio of Chimar. But it is still fresh to my memory that I arrived here the day before my installation. That was June 13. From Butuan City, I entered officially to the province of Surigao del Sur via Los Arcos and had my first stop at the beautiful and peaceful Santo Niño Parish of Lianga. Of all the parish churches in the diocese, it was in Lianga 
that the new bishop bent his knees in silent prayer. He prayed that his ministry and life will be a channel where the unmerited grace of God flow abundantly to his people, especially to the poor and the needy. Traveling from Lianga to Tandag City, I was welcomed warmly with hundreds of people lining up on the streets, waving their hands and flaglets, shouting in jubilation. But amidst the long line of people who welcomed me was the undeniable richness and natural beauty of the place. Atop the pickup, while standing for not less than four hours, under the scorching heat of the sun, I had a good view of this richness and beauty, and I couldn't help but thank the Creator for having brought me to a place I would have no difficulty calling my home. Inside my heart, I felt that I was not only welcomed by people, but also with the rest of creation. Surigao del Sur is one of the provinces gifted with abundant natural resources and magnificent beauty of nature that lavishly nourish its inhabitants. However, like in other places of the world, we are also facing an ecological crisis that threatens the lives of the people, particularly the poor, in their access to potable water, arable land, productive marine life, and a healthy environment due to the paradigm in life that prioritizes profit than people. Degradation of the environment is primarily caused by the erosion of human values that no longer acknowledged our creaturehood that entails relationship with the Creator and responsibility towards creation. For this reason, the Church of Tandang commits herself to the integral ecology that promotes the fullness of the human person with God-given rights and the flourishing of creation. We consider the healthy relationship with creation as an essential dimension of our faith that leads us to the path of conversion until we mirror the image of God in us and build a human family with a world livable for all. Climate change is a reality the world is urgently facing due to unbridled human activities. Like most parts of the globe, the country has exhibited rising temperatures and the tropical cyclones occurring in the Philippine area of responsibility have increased in number. Pagasa observes that the wet seasons become wetter and the usually dry seasons become drier. And these could lead to more occurrences of floods and droughts respectively. This grim condition is intensified by massive environmental degradation caused by illegal logging and open pit mining 
that not only threaten the livelihood of farmers, fisher fox, and other people who depend on them, but also destroy the habitat of 1,768 threatened Philippine wildlife, and some of which are classified as critically endangered species. The Diocese of Tandang commits herself to the preservation and protection of the environment. We firmly adhere to the Declaration of Principles and State Policies of the Philippine Constitution that the state shall protect and advance the right of the people to a balanced and helpful ecology in accord with the rhythm and harmony of nature, which our Supreme Court affirmed by enunciating the concept of intergenerational responsibility in so far as the right to a balanced and healthful ecology is concerned. This right constitutes, at the same time, the performance of their obligation to ensure the protection of that right for the generations to come. We support and believe in the national policy to attain and maintain a rational and orderly balance between socio-economic growth and environmental conservation and protection. The reason why we cannot close our eyes to the glaring rampage of our common home in the name of progress and development. Therefore, we reiterate the words of Pope Francis in saying, Come, let us talk this over. If you are ready to listen, we can still have a great future. But if you refuse to listen and to act, you will be devoured by the heat and the pollution, by droughts here and rising waters there. Finally, I firmly believe that the future of humanity depends on how we take good care of our Mother Earth. May God bless you and the whole of creation.